match on Sunday went really, really well. This week seems to have been pretty intense as well, albeit with, with no no game this week. How, how are things progressing and what are your reflections a few days on from working to? Oh, really pleased to go out there, up there against the odds, working to a tough team to beat, you know, their own place and everyone's up for round one. So, you know, to get the W was the main thing and, and the boys have come back in bouncing. So, you know, uh, you know we've had some uh, good intense training to, tonight, sorry. Uh, what, what did the debrief focus on, you know, the good and, and you know, the, well, there wasn't any bad, but, you know, what were the key aspects that you picked out of working to? Oh, I thought first half we was out. Outstanding, you know what I mean. With you know, play the conditions right. I thought the start of the second half we started a little bit slow, but it's expected a little bit. You know, when I've reflected back on it and I thought about it, I thought they probably had a bit of a roasting off the coach, and they could probably come out firing. So we've got to manage that period of you know the third quarter a bit better, and then then we seem to pull away again, which was pleasing. Um, so that was, that was our kind of learnings. Get a few bodies back as well. Craig Kopchak back yeah, with training. Elijah Taylor's been here as well. Any update on the the three main injuries at the moment? Um, I, well, Copy's non-contact training today. Uh, looks fine. Um, another week will, will be good. Um, Et I reckon probably another four week and, and Pat. I'm not too sure on part yet, but um, good to have uh, Phoenix in as well, another body, um, just bulks up the, the squad and everyone's fighting for places. Uh, the other bit of news this week uh, was the dual reg announced with Salford, um, how, how much of a positive that could that be for you and, and this club? Oh, I think it's really good to have Jules Reg, uh, you know, War uh, Salford, sorry, I've got some really good players, you know, and if any players are coming back from injury and, you know, we're actually light in the middle, which yeah, I've been light for last for probably three weeks now, uh, and they want to run, then, you know, they're more than welcome. So, well, obviously, we, me and Paul speak quite often yeah. um, we you know if we don't want their players vice versa we don't we don't take them we'll play our players but you know if needed we will we'll, we'll use them and vice versa as well if they've got any reserve games or you know they want to take some of our big, big names <laughs> they, can, they can have them but uh, no it's, it's just good to have a good relationship what's Paul Rowley's take on on this project here at Alder what's he said about what what, what's going on here? Oh, he, he's he's a rugby he, geek, so I know he's got opinions. Yeah, yeah. He, he's when I spoke to him, he's uh, you know he wants to come down to games, he wants to watch the train. You know, he's excited. You know, he's he's happy for us. He's happy for us for what we're doing. You know, within the town, and um, you know, he, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good bloke. He's a top bloke. So really, really happy that we Joel Reg with him. Next big step then is Boundary Park first home game of the League One season and it's a derby against Rochdale. How special occasion would you like that to be? Oh, well, probably the one of our biggest games of the season, if I'm being honest. First game at home uh, of, the, of the season um, against our local rivals. Um, so we want it rocking and uh, we want a good performance. Obviously, they'll be stinging in a little bit from the 1895, uh, but they were missing quite a few of the key players, so we're not taking nothing into that. It's a fresh start, fresh competition, and uh, and hopefully the fans will come out in the droves and we'll have a, a really good entertaining game of rugby. Cheers, Sean. Thank you very much.